Hello and uh, welcome to uh, this week's episode. Uh, we've been uh, working a lot with uh, mittens recently. Like Be this. Yeah, like these. Because we have all this yarn that we designed uh, for Schahenmeyer. It's the Merino Extra Fine in all the colors that we've done. And uh, we got all this yarn and we just thought, let's do something with it. And we ended up knitting mittens. So we thought we'd do the pattern for this. And as always, remember, if you want to see the written pattern with detailed description, step-by-step -step photography, go to the blog at arnacarlos.com and you'll find it all there. Yeah. And you can do two mittens looking exactly the same. If you want. If you want, like this. But then you have to find the right spot on the yarn yeah. for both of them. And if or you want you them, yeah, yeah. If you want them in many different colors, you can just use the scraps the leftovers and just put them together in your own way and then you'll get gorgeous colorations like these. Yeah, they don't have to look the same, they're good anyway. They're, they're good, good anyway, good yes. Anyway. Absolutely. So, let's explain how we do it, but okay. we won't go through the whole pattern because the pattern is on our blog. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to do this mitten, what you need to do is you need to get your double pointed needles, uh, five of them, and as always the exact measurement or the size of the needle is in the written pattern on our blog. So go to the blog and check that out. Um, so cast on 48 stitches and divide them into four double pointed needles. Mm -hmm. And then you knit two knit, two purl for how many rounds are now? 30 rounds. About 30 rounds. So that the ribbing is more or less, I'll give you a measurement here. The ribbon is going to be more or less um, three inches. 48 stitches, 30 rounds. The pattern is on the blog. <laughs> okay, so we've done the rib. And now I, we, we like to do them tight because they tend to get wider when you use them. So we try to make them tighter. And now I marked three stitches where the thumb is coming. So when you do the left side, you knit one and then you mark those three and you knit the rest. Mm -hmm. And then you decrease on each side of those three stitches. On the other side, you, you mark the three stitches before the last stitch on the round. So you get one left and one right. Yeah. And please check it on your hand. I'm not so good with left and right, so. Mm. And then of course, there's always the question, uh, where do you know where to put in the thumb? That's gonna be an issue. That's and gonna be where the thumb is. Yeah, you need to, <laughs> yeah, but where from the mitten and up do you put the thumb? Yeah. And what you do is you check on your hand, more or less here, where, um, where your thumb aligns with the rest of your hand, that is where you're gonna put uh, the thumb. So just put your mitten on, I've got one here without a thumb, put that on, like this, and then just, yeah. So you see here, the, the scrap thread is uh, already in, and this is where my thumb aligns with the rest of my hand, and it is about, how many inches from the rib? It is uh, two inches, two inches from the rib going up. That's where my thumb is. But then again, everybody is different and uh, you might have your thumb um, closer Somewhere or else. further away. So <laughs> you have to figure that out for yourself. Yeah. On this one, I put the yarn to mark the three stitches where my thumb is going to be. And now I'm going to increase on each side of those stitches until I have nine stitches for the thumb because nine fits my finger. Mm. Mine too. And your too. Good. Then I can show you on this one because we're working on a lot of different mittens. So this is where I put my scrap yarn. And you just take a piece of yarn, you knit those nine stitches, and then you continue with the yarn for the mitten. And when you've done that, you, you have to pick up the stitches from the scrap yarn, like we did on the, uh, on the easy sock. Should we show this? And we will show you again. 
So now I will pick up the stitches below and over the scrap yarn because this is where the thumb is going to be. So put the needle into the stitches like this in every stitch. And then you divide these stitches on four needles after you pick them up. That, that's nine stitches. Then you take nine, the nine under. So that's the first one. this slow enough? I don't know, but it looks good. One more. Right. And then you can take the scrap yarn out. And then you get the opening for the thumb and you get all the stitches on the needles. So this is pretty much the same as when we did the sock. Uh, we've got that, um, the easiest sock in the world, the part where we open up the heel. Um, and if you want to see that again, you could always go to that video. But it's the same yeah. technique. And then you just knit on the round until you have the thumb. Yes. And if you miss a stitch while you do this, you just pick it up later. But for a thumb, it's easier than a sock because the sock yarn is much thinner. So it's easier to miss a stitch. But that not, that's not a problem. And then when you start knitting the thumb, since I have nine stitches, I put five on the first needle four on the second second needle and then I make one in between. So I get five on each. And again, if you have a bigger thumb or a small thumb, you should check out your own thumb, which size you need. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then you do the same on the other side. Two, three, four, five. And then you have four. And then you can start knitting your thumb. Let's use. No, yeah, this is the same yarn. We do a matching thumb. So when you knit the thumb, you make first five on the first stitch. One, two, three, four. The second needle, you, first you knit four. One, two, three, four. And then you make one, just pick up one between the needles. So you get five on, on this one also. Then you go to the other side and you knit four, five. The last stitch, number four. You knit four.
then you make one in between anywhere just pick it up if you get a hole you just stitch the hole later then you use this tail as the marker the stitch marker so you know where you started and then you just continue knitting around you can follow the pattern on the blog or you can check your own thumb how much you need Now I make knit one more needle and then I can put it on to show how it's coming. So there we go. Oh, that's a great thumb. Here the thumb will come. And then I just knit like probably up to here. Up to where the... Um, up to the nail. Up to where your nail starts. And if it's, if it's too big, you just wrap it, unwrap it and make it smaller or the other way yeah but follow the pattern use the pattern on the blog yeah. as a yeah. guide yeah use the pattern and then adapt it to your own uh, to your own finger so find the placement for your thumb and then find out more or less where you want to start decreasing try it on sometimes you might you know knit it a little bit too short then you just unravel and try doing it again that happened to us the other day yeah. i felt that one of the finger or the the thumb was a little bit too Happens to, all the yeah, time. Happens all the time. <laughs> so it's all it's all a question of trying it and adapting it to your own to your own hand, custom fitting it into mm -hmm. into your own. Shape. And as we said, if if the mitten is tight, it's good because it's, it will get it will expand yes. bigger when you use Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And when you're done with the thumb, uh, the mitten is finished and uh, ready to wear. Just sew the yarn, the tails. Like this. There you go. When you do the decreasing on the, on the top, of on the the top mitten. you knit two together on one side and two together on the other side, but you have two stitches in between the decreasing. And then on, I can show on the thumb. It's the same on the thumb, but on the thumb you have one stitch in between the decreasing on each side. So that's the stitch you picked up. And then you uh, mark where you put your thumb and then you're going to continue knit knitting the mitten until you reach uh, the part where you start decreasing. Yeah. And now the, there's going to be a, obviously a question, where do I start decreasing? And the best way to figure that one out is to try the try mitten on. On. And more or less when, um, when the whole thing is as tall as your pinky, that's where you start decreasing on both sides so that you get this nice... Uh, shape like this and basically if I put the, the um, my hand over that you'll see it clearly that uh, the decrease starts more or less where my pinky is so, so when you decrease decrease you have to remember to work on the palm of the hand and the inside of the hand so these two stitches are the palm and these two are the inside yeah and you want your decreasing on the side of the hand so I show you on one side so you start by knitting one then you slip one and knit one you lift the one you slipped over and then you knit to the other side that means the other side of stitch or needle number two so that was needle number one and then I'm going to decrease on this the two, the two stitches on this side on needle number two so I need until I have three left the yarn has split of course there we go so now when I have three left, I do the decreasing on the other side. Okay. 
And on this side, I just knit two together. Like that. And then you knit one. The reason why I do decreasing in different ways is that you want your stitches, the stitches to point towards the center of the mitten. And then you just continue decreasing on every single, on every second round. You continue decreasing on every second round. Mm -hmm. Then you cut the yarn, pull the yarn through the last stitches and you sew the ends. Yeah, and then, and you... then you make the thumb. So now we will tell you how to decrease on the thumb. Mm -hmm. So it will look like this. And you do the same as you did on the mitten, on the fingers. You decrease on this side and on that side. And remember, when the mitten is flat, it should look like this. So you don't get the decreasing like this. It should go like this. But it's all in the pattern. Mm. And then you just decrease in the beginning and in the end, but on, on, the, on, the, on the finger we leave one stitch in between the decreasing. Knit two together and then I knit the two next ones. And then on, on, on the other needle I will knit the two last ones together like this. So now these stitches are pointing towards the center of the thumb. And then you do the same on the other side. But this time you, you knit one and decrease on the first needle and then you go to the second needle and you knit the two last ones together and then you start on the other side the same way by knitting one and then you decrease. So you will have one stitch in between the decreasing on both sides. So it will look like this. And then you just sew the ends and you have... Gorgeous mittens! A mitten! Wear. And remember that the pattern is on the log and please check your hands. Yeah. Because you might have bigger or smaller hands. Yeah. Okay. And we have this uh, New Year's resolution where we have decided that we have to finish all our projects. There are not going to be any unfinished projects lying around, which means we're going to have to spend the rest of this week knitting these mittens so that yeah. they're finished. Um, and in the meantime, uh, why don't you guys just go and subscribe to our channel? Uh, there's plenty of uh, free tutorials there, all of them supported by uh, patterns on uh, our website. So until next time, uh, happy knitting. We will knit mittens. Yes. Mm -hmm.